Hello everyone and welcome to my Create This Book series by me and Mariah Elizabeth. Today I am going to be completing five more prompts in the book. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what things I can come up with for today's prompts. I haven't looked at any of these new prompts yet, and from your comments, I've heard they're kind of interesting, but the first prompt of the day is to create a fancy name, so I'm supposed to take fun colors and write my name in a fancy little way, so I, of course, use my Posca pens to do this one, and I just wrote my name, which is Kara, and a lot of you guys commented on that. First, I want to say it was a birthday gift from my mom, you know, I was born with that name, and then I would also like to say thank you, because that's fun, and it was cool to know that a couple of you guys also had the name Kara. That's fun. I've never met another one, so hello there. But anyway, then I went ahead and just kind of wrote my name out in pink, and then I decided to outline it with another pink just to kind of make it a little more fun. But as I was saying before, I haven't seen any of the prompts in these books. It's one of my goals to kind of just think on the fly and let the first thing that comes out of my mind kind of be my inspiration for everything. So that's my goal for this to kind of think quickly and be more creative quicker. But then also I just want to kind of experience it with you guys. So like you see what I come up with in real time and that's just kind of fun. So anyway, then I went ahead and outlined my name in pen and decided to add a couple of little gel pen highlights. And then I was pretty much completed with this. I thought about doing more, but I really liked how cute it was was. It's kind of bubbly and I like pink, so I just went along with it. And now it's time for the next prompt in the book, which is to create a rule. So I decided to put the rule as that I would do my very best. I didn't want to create something like crazy or that I had to remember for each page because if I had to remember it, I would definitely forget. But I just wanted to make this rule for myself. In the second create this book that I already did, it was hard for me to put effort into every single page and do my very best on every single page. So that is my goal for this book is to just on every single page do my 100% that I can do and that might look different from day to day but I just want to do my very best in each day to make something that I'm happy with. So then I drew out this little arrow just to point to it from the page and then I decided to also write something on the left side just about the reasoning behind it and what I'm actually trying to do. It's not that I want to create art that I'm super happy with every single time. I don't think that's reasonable, but I do want to just put my best foot forward in every single page. So that's my goal for every page in this book. How many times did I say every page? I don't know. You let me know. But now I'm on to this next prompt, which is to choose one color. I, of course, chose my favorite color, which is the color blue, and I just kind of, again, went with the first thing that popped into my head, and that was a watering can. So I was thinking about the color blue and what things I could make in a blue picture, and for some reason, this just popped out to me, I think, you know, because of water, and so I just ran with it. Another one of my goals for the book is to do every single page in order. That way, from the beginning of the book to the end of the book, I can kind of see a line of progress. That's just the way I like to do it and that's what keeps me organized and everything. But then I decided to add a flower to the watering can because, you know, what would you be watering? You know, flowers. And then I went ahead and just started off with my blue Posca pen and outlined everything. And this was just a sure way that I would keep everything blue and not go outside into crazy colors. But then after I added in all of the blue areas, I kind of did end up going off into a little bit crazy of a color. I brought in a blue green Posca pen, what I would consider to be blue green, but I think it's more of a mint green. So I hope that I didn't cheat on this prompt, but I did try to stick mainly to blue and then I decided to bring in some colored pencils and then it was really hard to find a blue one because they're not labeled or anything, but then I found the blue ones and I just decided to kind of go in all of the empty white spaces and fill them in with some shading and with some blue. So I think this really tied the whole thing together and definitely made the whole thing appear a lot more blue, which was very helpful and very necessary for the drawing. I colored in all of these these little flowers that are being watered and I think this page is actually really cute. It's pretty simple 
but I actually really like how it turned out. And then I accidentally brought in this kind of purple, but I'm hoping it's like a blue violet, you know? So I think that still counts in the color scheme too. But here's how this one turned out. And it's actually one of my favorites from today. I think it's just so cute and fun. But let's move on to the next prompt, which is to create a page of things I like and things I dislike. I'm bringing in even more colors of Posca's for this. And the first thing that popped into my head for this was food. So far, these prompts appear to me to be more like lists or writing or things like that. So I was trying to be creative in finding ways that I could make them more about drawing and about art. So for this one, it was to create lists of things you like versus things you dislike. But I wanted to make it into a drawing. So I decided to focus on food and then I drew some of my favorite foods on the left side and then some of my least favorite foods on the right side. That way I can make it a little more artsy and fun like that. So I decided to add in a hot dog with some ketchup. I added in a little strawberry. Strawberries are like one of my favorite foods ever. I think they're so cute and fun and tasty. But anyway, then I added in a little strawberry and then I decided to use my Posca pens for all of these things just to add in some some fun colors and make everything pop off the page and then the last food that I added for my favorite section was an egg and when I was drawing this out I was like oh this is looking pretty nice but then I realized that I drew a raw egg like you don't eat raw eggs you shouldn't eat raw eggs so anyway then I moved on to my least favorite foods or the foods that I dislike section and the foods that came to mind for me were blueberries tomatoes and peas. I don't like any of those things very much so that's why I drew them out on the page. They were still fun to draw even though in my opinion they are not fun to eat. So I just drew everything out and once I had all of the foods drawn out I decided to go ahead and go in with a black pen just to outline everything and add a little more emphasis to it all. I just wanted everything to really stand out and pop off of the page and just to be easily identifiable and easily sealed. I just wanted to add some distinctifying lines to all of the colors and add a little bit of detail with the pen as well like add little spiky hairs to the blueberries and then after that I decided to also label everything just to add to the page I thought it would be kind of cute to have everything say what it was I hope it's pretty obvious through the drawings anyway but I still thought it would be a nice little touch but here is the completed page of food that I like versus food I dislike and now it's time for the next prompt which is to create a music page so I'm supposed to listen to a song and then be inspired by that song and all I could think about was a song baby it's cold outside so that inspired me to draw some different colored snowflakes I started each snowflake off the same exact way by drawing four intersecting lines and then I went ahead and created my pattern around each thing and kept it all super symmetrical that way it would look like little snowflakes and then I kind of just did whatever patterns came to mind like this one's little circles some are little diamonds it was just kind of whatever I felt like I should do in the moment and that's what I went with and I also decided to add in a variety of colors and mix everything up just a little bit that way it would still have a variety of things going on and it wasn't all just the same color and everything but that it was all still snowflaked themed and this still screams it's cold outside to me you know snow definitely equals cold so I actually really like this page it was also one of my favorites from this one and then to make it even better I added in my gel pens you know how I love these gel pens they just add extra special something something to everything so I added in blue green and purple gel pen to the drawing and this is how it turned out I think it is so fun and so cute and I love this page and now it's time to take a look back at the first prompt we did today so the first prompt was to create a a fancy name and here is how it turned out I think it's pretty cute and fancy here is my rule for this book which is to do my very best on each page here is this prompt where I chose one color blue and made an entire drawing based off of that color here is the next page where I created a food page of foods I like versus foods I dislike and here is the final prompt of the day inspired by the song baby it's cold outside where 
I drew a whole bunch of different colored cute fun snowflakes that also sparkle in sunlight thanks to those awesome gel pens. Let me know which one of these five prompts was your favorite. I was able to do a lot in this video which was super fun to do so let me know which one was your favorite. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!